sitting here today with uh, uh, in the home of uh, John and, and Shirley Harry with uh, 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 Ken Connor of Clockmaster. Jim Crittenden is uh, videotaping yeah. and my name is Richard Snyder and uh, we're gonna be interviewing <coughs> excuse me interviewing John and Shirley Harry the owners of the uh, uh, organ from the Oak Hill Chapel that they had uh, bought back in 1958 yeah. for $5, yeah. which is amazing. <laughs> and have kept it all of these years in their wonderful home here. And uh, Shirley, I hear that you've played it as well. Well, I make a stab at it. I am not an organist or a piano player, but I did all my college work on it. Wow. So that got me through college to get my music degree. <laughs> Oh, incredible. Have you restored it at all, or, no. or it's still in the original condition? Yep. Yeah. And nothing with it. Grandkids even played it when they came over when they were little. Wow. Well, it's got a, a beautiful patina on it for, for the age, and uh, it's just in wonderful condition. Mm -hmm. And it would be just an incredible uh, item to have back in the chapel on loan and uh, hopefully can be played again on service. Yeah, it's very easy playing. Very um, easy. Her, sis her sister and her husband had, had an organ, but she had to pump the heck out of it uh, to get, it, get enough air to get through to get music out of it. Well, and this plays very, very easily. Easy. Still pretty much in tune. There's a few places that don't work and we're missing a few of the stops. We've got them lifted up here, but we don't know where to put them. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, Ken's Ken's information should should put us on the track as to where each stop goes and what's missing. Sure, There's for a restoration one, of right. certain items on there, just surface mainly. Right. Yeah. It uh, the stop buttons or um, names need to be re-glued in there. Uh, There's only a couple, three of them that are. In their original position, mm -hmm. they're still glued in. But then there's two others that are loose, and others that have dropped out that we've still got. But one, one was missing. I'm pretty sure when uh, when I bought it, it might be in the dirt up there in the chapel floor. <laughs> yep, in the moving of it. Right. And how did you get it out of the chapel through the back door? Yeah. I would think right through the back door on and, dollies. Uh, no, no, it, you could lift it and. It yeah, looks rather yeah. heavy. Yeah, it's uh, heavy. it's fairly heavy, but it's uh, the handles are beautiful on there. Yeah. There are wheels. Oh on yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there I are wheels, those. but they're directional. Mm -hmm. they only okay. go side to side. Yeah. Well, to lift it up then into a pickup or a, a van of some type yeah. would be quite an undertaking. Yeah, I think I I can't remember if we brought it in my dad's jeep or uh, whether we had a pickup truck when we picked it up. Well. And that was back in 1958. At that time, the chapel was only used for storage of uh, the grave, uh, the gravesite right. things, and it it had a, <laughs> a lot of dirt in there. Right. And uh, I don't even know if the lights worked in there at the time. Um, I took a look this morning, and I see it's a fairly new uh, 100 meters or 100 amp service in there. Yeah, it's fairly updated now, yeah. even with the furnace. I have, uh, I know before there, you the only light we had in there when we picked the organ up was what came through the back door. Right. <laughs> yep. So, but uh, anyway, um, they Herman was talking to me one day, and he said mentioned that they were going to clean the chapel out, and I said, "You mean is that mean the organ is going to?" And he said, "Yeah." He said, "That's going to." And I said, oh, do you think they would let me buy it? And uh, he said, I don't know. He said, well, 
put in a bid, and he said, uh, well, I'll, I'll talk to the association about it. And uh, he said, I asked him, I said, what is it worth? And he says, I've got no idea. I said, well, I said, would they, do you think they'd accept five bucks for it? Well. <laughs> and he says, I don't know. He says, we'll take it to the association. And they accepted it. <laughs> wow. They're just happy to get it out of the way, I guess. Yes. I read uh, in Morris's, Morris Montgomery's uh, literature that in 1969 they did a house cleaning. And uh, a lot of the old stained glass that was damaged through the years through vandals were stored and thrown out. Uh, they did a complete uh, house cleaning. They sold the organ to me in 1958. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, the, the house cleaning uh, of the basement and uh, the chapel itself was in 69, so that was yeah. a few, yeah. ten years yeah. later. Yeah. Yeah. We've been to one funeral up there, uh, a friend of ours, uh, sister, um, died and uh, she was buried up there. And that's the first time I'd been in the chapel. And at that time uh, I noticed the wainscoting, I think it was painted yellow or something like that. I can't remember. But it, it looked a lot better than when I was in there. And really I'd never had a chance to, re when I worked there, to, to go through and look at what, what the chapel really looked like. It just got the impression from, like I said, from the light in the back Sure. Back door that there was this much dirt on the floor, wow. <laughs> and uh, that everything was just the inside the chapel up. itself. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thick dust. Yeah. I see. So, uh, because I also read too, in 1975 they did a the association did a upgrade. They spent <laughs> about five thousand dollars. They rewired it, and they uh, did some minor repairs. As far as painting, the, they didn't specify the certain things other than the wiring um, and possibly I think also maybe the caulking of some of the stained glass pieces in the windows because you can uh -huh. see where they recocked it with white instead of clear uh -huh. where that would have been a little less visible. But uh, that was really about it and then whether they used it from that time on, I'm not sure because it's been used actually the last five years only five times, once a year roughly. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of the concern. If we restore it, will it be used in the future? And how so? So that's, we have to also have a plan for that use as well. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, the connection between Ken and the organ, uh, how did it come about that you two connected uh, as far as the organ and the <laughs> clock master? Uh, you know, well, it would be interesting to find out. <laughs> uh, we hit, uh, the, our clock quit working. And uh, so we, we uh, Ken is one of a very few clock people around. And so we just have to be lucky and we got him in here. And um, but we were we were talking, or I mentioned that I've got the old organ out of the Oak Hill Cemetery, and uh, he said, "Oh, <laughs> that perked his ears up." <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we've been walk talking back and forth about it ever since here. And uh, I mentioned to him that I had tried giving the organ to the Historical Society. Uh, but the Tallman House, and um, they did not have the room for it. They're short on space. And um, so I got turned down there, and I, my wife and I, we're, we're 75 years old, and we're not going to be around here forever in a day. And um, we just didn't know what, what to do with it, what to do with the organ. I hate to see the thing end up in Chicago or some antique. Yes antique place. Right. Here to Rock County in Janesville with a cemetery there. And uh, this sounds like the best best deal all around. If the, if the chapel is re, uh, restored and um, uh, kept, you know, kept, kept in good shape. That's right. And used. Mm -hmm. right. right. Yeah. The roof, the, the structure, the foundation, yeah. the porch, the windows, 
everything inside and around yeah. the building itself, mainly the grounds, the fountain we've discussed a little, to bring it back to the original condition mm -hmm. uh, of Without 1899. The there, you're, you're still talking about taking the port Porticacheria off? Uh, it's pro and con. I mean, it's looking, if we can fix it inexpensively other than tearing it down, I think we'll save it. So I know I looked at it, like I said, this morning, and uh, it's, it is a lot different from the rest of the rest of the chapel. It's, I guess, one of the problems uh, Ron was uh, thinking about, too, is uh, how they tied it into the front, if that could be repaired and unnoticeable uh, after you would remove the porch, uh, uh -huh. how to match that up or cut in new stones or whatever. Yeah. I and mean, the stone is available, it, that isn't the problem, but how do you make it so it matches, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it, everybody is. It's been on there for a hundred years, maybe just leave it. I mean, that's the way it is now. Yeah. So that might be the best way and just fix it. I know they did a, they did a very good job of, uh, you know, tying in the roof into the side of the front of the building there and everything. It's nicely um, uh, metal, metal, uh, flashing in there and everything. Right. I see they put that right into the old stone and uh, the joints and everything. Those, the doors, the front doors, uh, the entrance, uh, when Jim and I were up there, uh, well, even for the house, the, the cleaning last Saturday, uh, those are embedded right into that stone, so that tells me they're original. Highly possible. Those steel doors, protective doors, uh -huh. um, on the outside there that's padlocked. They're heavy duty and the way they put them, mounted them into that stonework on the right and the left, they are incredibly strong and it looks like they've been there forever. I'd never been through the front door. Okay. <laughs> Always going in the back door. You need to come this weekend so you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll as far there. as uh, inside the chapel when it's you know, daytime and the light from the windows lighted right. up if it didn't have electricity, you know. Uh, any idea what that round window at top looked like? No. That I, is really the mystery. Even Morris uh, Montgomery said that, well, in his book it stated that it was uh, a memorial window from Knights of Pythias. And on the outside border it, it spelled that out that it was painted and probably fired on, that's how they do it, and, you know, maybe other members or whoever donated it, you know, might have had their name on there like the other memorial windows have, but uh, as far as the actual design, that is a lost photo. I haven't located that. So that one is a mystery as to the design of that, if it comes to the point and hopefully it will come to the point of the total restoration of redoing all the windows that is one that we're not sure what that design is unless it comes forward. I did notice one thing uh, somebody did a smart thing they covered all the windows with screen. Yes and that uh, saved uh, more damage right. that's right. Right. It should it would be just too easy for someone for kids to come in there and throw rocks through all those windows. Right. That was Rick Struley's uncle. <laughs> right. That's right. Rick Struley. That was his the uncle. caretaker now, his uncle did that. Oh okay. <clears throat> yeah, he's uh well educated too with all the stuff up there. Um and some of the history as well. His uncle was there for many years. And how long was Rick there? I forget. Ten years, ten, twelve years, maybe. Okay. So well, my, my question, John, yes, is now that, because you got the organ as a wedding present for your wife, now what are you going to get her? <laughs> <laughs> she still got me. Oh, after all these years, huh? Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> you got off cheap the first time. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I'll find yeah, out. Like, now what? Now, now, the ante goes up, you know, after all this time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, when we got married in 1959, uh, we had a we didn't spend much on on, on a wedding. Uh, she made her own. She made her bridesmaid or yeah. bride's dress. Yeah. All of them. And uh, yeah, you made all your bridesmaids. And um, I think I rented a. Yeah, we well, rented a you white rented. white dinner jacket there. Okay, <laughs> and that was in style at that time. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> And then this organ's been in this this room in different corners of it over the years as they've changed decorations sure. and everything. Yeah. But it's lived here except for one time. And where did it go, John? Uh, <laughs> over to Craig for, uh, I believe it was our, the the kids over there put on our town. And I remember uh, that. I was in high school at that time. Oh, you were? Yeah. You weren't one of the kids. That was not Craig, no. though. That was still <laughs> Janesville Senior High That's School. That's right. Because yeah. 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 we were the first class to graduate over here. <laughs> Came just uh, Craig High School. I was the last class to... Uh, oh, I was the <laughs> first I'm, class the of old Craig. High school. <laughs> oh, okay. That was 68. We were 56. <laughs> So the, the organ got to be in the play, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So. that's quite an ordeal to move this out just for that, back oh, yeah. and forth. I mean, that was yeah. uh, they they brought some kids over and brought over a pickup truck, I think, take it over, and uh, I put my finger putting her through the teacher's uh, <laughs> chest, uh, telling him under no circumstances is anybody to fool with that thing. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. delicate. Sure. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The carving here is really nice mm -hmm. and detailed. Yeah. The finish is, uh, is wearing off. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Badly. It uh, looks like mahogany. You yeah. Know, it's, I was got that suspect. brain pattern on there that mm -hmm. is tight. Yeah. I really, I, I mentioned to Marcia that I thought at first it was maple, but then I thought, no, that can't. Uh, it's too soft. It, it, it has to be something else. It's yeah. got a, a mahogany or something. Right. You could put a fingernail and yeah. make a mark in it fairly right. easy. Right. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the patina of age on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. And what do you think of having it in the chapel after it's restored to uh, come and play a tune? The the ceilings are probably. At least 12 feet, if yeah. not higher. Oh, I mean, the, the echo in there would yeah. be just the incredible. The acoustics here yes. sound yeah. like they could be That's right. really yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, we did have uh, one old German fellow, old John, I call it. I can't remember his last name, but uh, he was he was a character. Uh, but uh, he, he'd go in and he'd, he could play this organ while it was still in the chapel. Wow. And I never got the chance to listen to him. The other fellows that I worked with told me about it. But um, I bet he enjoyed the sound. I think so. You know, with the uh, the way it's uh, the acoustic and you know. Now, well, surely I'll have to do the the maiden run. That's right. Know, once we get it over there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you're a mother. You got to take care of it. You know. You should be I've always one. regretted you I never learned piano. You should be the first one to yeah, well, That's right. <laughs> you're going to have a little time to, to practice again. you got your keyboard, right? You have yeah, a keyboard? Yeah, yeah. I got an electric keyboard a few years ago. So. Yeah. yeah. But, but Shirley's a violinist and a vocalist. Mm -hmm. Very talented. Uh, yes. And she cooks, she sews. She does everything. Yeah. <laughs> Keep, keeps me fed. Uh, I understand. I saw that lunch. I was sorry I didn't get here a little earlier. <laughs> well, I think that pretty much uh, uh, answers a lot of questions, and it's very interesting to meet both of you and in, in what a wonderful story of the, the organ and the life it's had here, being well taken care of, where it would have been if you went to been able to purchase it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, is anybody's guess, and it'd probably be, uh, who knows, a landfill, or, mm -hmm. you know, you hate to think of that, of such a wonderful piece of artwork. Yeah. I know, I, 
I've thought about restoring, you know, refinishing it, and uh, the mirror needs resilvering. It's quite a beautiful mirror. It and is. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen uh, it. Kind of represents the the jewels that are embedded around the outside border. Mm -hmm. That's very unique. They so say you have to be very careful uh, with the old ones, touching them or anything, or because of the the, the mercury in it. Maybe. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. But it's one trick they did say you could do if the, if the mirror comes off easy enough is to put just a flat piece of tin foil. Aluminum foil, the flat, shiny side behind it, will cover up a lot of that missing yeah. silver and not be as noticeable sure. without doing any yeah. other. The back side has, um, it looks like either eighth or quarter inch um, wood. I don't think it's even plywood. Okay. That uh, that holds a mirror in place. Oh, wrong place. Probably a heavy veneer. Back in right. those days, yeah, they didn't have plywood. It would be one ply, right. which would be a, a solid yeah. piece. But actually, you know. Should we bring the box out? That's been in oh there? yes, yes. There's a secret compartment. <laughs> <laughs> Not really secret, yeah. but yeah, it's probably meant to hold the uh, the, yeah, the music or hymnals yeah. and uh, things like that. This was in it when he got it. Wow, and that's. Everything we've never taken anything out. No, I is. don't know if we should have put more tobacco in <laughs> it's, there. Yeah, it's John's <laughs> secret stash is what it is. <laughs> well, I got an <laughs> Allen wrench for tuning, or I don't know. I can't remember if that was in there, or whether I put it in there, or just where the heck it came from. Well, just the box itself. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So. Yeah, Havana. Did you have cigars? Unreal. Yeah. <laughs> But somebody or other put that in, I suppose, probably to keep moths out of the uh, bellows there. Yep. That's the only thing I could ever figure out what it was for. Hmm. And what anybody else that I've talked to about can figure out. Yeah, even that's in excellent shape. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe that's where Very old nice. John kept his tobacco, you know? That's it's right. highly possible. <laughs> yeah. okay. they, they used to, I think he smoked a pipe. and. Yeah. Um, Some of the others, uh, I know at that time we had a fellow named Lawrence and uh, Bill Hamilton, two other fellows that were there. And old Bill was an old bachelor, old farmer. And um, he was kind of a character, but he, he was good. Man built like a bull. I mean, he, well, they put, usually put him and old John into a grave to dig it by hand. Wow. And, um, John would get in there and he'd be chuffing and huffing away and then Bill would jump in and <laughs> <laughs> then he'd go to it for a while. <laughs> sure. Hard work. Yeah. yeah. But they dug everything, they dug them all by hand then. Can we have a little free for all on the organs? <laughs> yeah. See how it sounds? <laughs> It'll beat a little. Oh. <laughs> we should get an idea. They started me at three, and then they started me on violin, and they said it was too much to do both, so they took me off the piano at five and put me on the violin. And as a result, this I could have used yes. <laughs> a lot more than I did the violin. That sounded wonderful. <laughs> but for college work, I mean, yeah, I could do my chording and different sounds and stuff that I needed for college, and it worked perfect. Wow. So. We just pull all the stops out, so we're sure that we get a noise on every key. Yeah. <laughs> What are the keys on a pipe <laughs> Yeah. You've got to pull the stops out. So, yeah, it's an incredible great. piece, yeah. yes. That's also the uh, original stool. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. 
I had we <laughs> I had to laugh. Uh, our grand one of grand one of our granddaughters just loved to sit on that stool, and she'd sit there and spin on it. And uh, she was like three or four years old, mm -hmm. and uh, she'd sit and spin until she spun the thing right <laughs> out of the right out of the base. <laughs> Kept going, huh? Kept yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got material a long time ago to recover it, but never got around to doing it. Well, so. well it's probably I'm, just as good the way it is. Yeah. 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 I That's was kind of wonder, too. I've often yeah. wondered if it shouldn't be left mm -hmm. in the original, even yeah. though it is it is bad shape, very bad shape for the material. Yeah. Well, it's but held it's up heavy. well. It's a heavy one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well made and yeah. all hand carved, I can imagine. Yeah. No, that's, I don't think that's even wood. And I think no. the legs are metal. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Cast. Yeah. Well, you need to kind of kind of heavy because yeah, if you're right. pushing on right. the oil, right. thing, otherwise right. you're sliding yeah. away yeah. from the hood or tipping yeah. over. Right. And yeah. Since some of them had a little tilt or a little bit of a back to them in different styles, but you know, that was the A.B. Chase Oregon Company. Is that the maker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're located where? They were in Ohio. Yeah. Um, Mr. Chase founded the company in 1876 and then died the next year. And then it was taken over by somebody else on the board. And then they continued to make organs until about the end of the 1800s and then switched over to just making pianos. Huh. So this was probably near the end of the run. Based upon yeah. what you think, but I know. Um, I'd, before you go, I'd like to pull it out. Sure, and I can Get show the you the, out. It's got mm -hmm. some of the uh, paper labels on the back that uh, because all all of the um, patents were from the eighteen nineties. The 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 date of the organ itself, no, okay. I don't have anything on that. All I've got is those patent patent sure. dates. And it's possible, I don't know, that the uh, serial number has been there. I'm hoping yeah, it is. Possibly to look that up. And yeah. They, they do, well, yeah. knowing the company, uh, when they were in business. And, and we, do have, we do have some serial number ranges for sure. some of the years there, but Marsha's also been doing a lot more research on it. Sure. And found out that I wasn't aware of that it, uh, the company had gotten a, uh, a prize from the World's Fair back in... Wow. Yeah, we didn't we didn't know anything about yeah. that either. So and I don't know where she found him. I mean, I was doing searching, but she ever since she was here yesterday, she's been going doing a wild search on it too. So uh, she wants to know what the serial number. Is. So we we all need that. Yeah, we mm -hmm. do want to get that serial number for sure. Uh, and see what we can find for you. Right. Yeah. Love to find all all the information we can oh, about sure. it there. You've been the caretaker for so many years, you know. Yeah. Yep. We just never. It's it's just kind of sat in the corner. And, <laughs> it's probably Didn't make too much noise, way, so. you know, yeah. <laughs> I kept it that way, otherwise yeah. we would have got destroyed or, you know, who knows. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it gets appreciate. in the way at Christmas time. Yeah. Oh, By the yeah. time you put your tree up in here and the kids are grown and they've got oh, yeah. girlfriends and boyfriends and we all get together at one great big time, there's no room. <laughs> you just don't hang garland around it? And put oh, yes, I do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. It oh, it's all decorated in here. No, I'm sure. <laughs> She'll have to find something else to hang some of that stuff yeah. on. <laughs> well, you'll make the transition. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully in a couple of years we get it out of your way and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been a wonderful afternoon talking to you okay. both uh, about the wonderful history and the great care you've taken care of this organ and played it and enjoyed it with your family and I thank you for that. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And you two uh, to join us and, and include the information uh, about uh, the connection between is very interesting as to Ken and thank you. Numbers.